Mabuhay everyone, March is here. Welcome to the channel. And for today's video, I'll be giving you my performance review of the Way of Wade All CT11. Let's go! Right in front of me is the brand new All City 11 from Way of Wade. So shout out again, Way of Wade, for sending this over and letting me try this. And it includes this very awesome jacket with the Wade logo here on the cuff. So this is actually their kind of Christmas gift to me. There's a Wade at the back. It's actually a hoodie or a rain jacket. Comes with a very nice bag. If you've seen my Instagram post, I posted it there. So check out my Instagram if you want to see how it looked. But again, thank you Way of Wade for sending this and letting me review this sneakers. To start off, Let's talk about the upper of the All City 11 and how it differs from the All City 10. So I have the All City 10 here beside me in this cotton candy colorway. So the main difference from the All City 11 and the 10 is one thing is the upper because they change up the material on the All City 11 and they use a different kind of mesh upper that is kind of synthetic and fused. When you look at it, it looks like ordinary mesh, but the breathability of this mesh seems to be very, very good because when I'm just blowing on top like this, I could feel the air coming through even if my fingers are just around the midfoot part of the sneaker. So it's very breathable and comparing it to a ripstop material, which of course it won't do that. See, it won't penetrate that much. So that's one nice thing that they did on the All City 11 is they changed up the material to be more well ventilated, but it didn't sacrifice the durability and the support of the upper. It doesn't stretch when you're moving laterally, which is good, but on the first wear, it's very soft. Look how thin it is when I'm pressing it down. And even though it's really soft, it doesn't stretch gives you the support that you need especially when you're doing lateral cuts and of course the other thing that will help in this lateral support of the LCT 11 is of course this big piece here or the outsole that comes up here and kind of cages your foot really nicely on the lateral part which I really love on the All City 10 as you can see All City 10 also has that uh, rubber piece that comes up here on the lateral part and the rubber piece that they use here on the 11s is softer compared to the rubber material found in the tents so it goes from the forefoot it goes down here but on this part this is a different kind of rubber which we'll be talking about in a bit but let's go back to the upper again of the sneaker another thing that they change up is they change the wings found here near the forefoot and midfoot part which they just use strings to give you a better lockdown feel to the sneaker and making the sneaker less look bulky so it has a slicker look to it so the strings also does what this straps on the tents does is really pull your foot down to the footbed and give you a very nice feel a very nice snug feel to the sneaker Another thing, of course, that I like about the All City 11 are the laces that they use here. Because as you can see, the laces that they use are flat laces, but you can see that it has like waves on the side. So what it does is it kind of really locks the laces up and it doesn't loosen up at all, which is a good innovation in terms of the laces. On the All City, so you see when you really tighten up, I didn't tighten it. Even if you're pulling it, it's really hard to loosen it up when it's tied down. So really nice detail to the laces of the All City 11, which I think they should use this kind of laces in all their upcoming models. So good job, we have waited for that. And the tongue has a very nice padding on top which is very comfortable and at the bottom part is like a jersey-like material which is same on the All City 10 and it's very breathable, it's very nice. On the medial part of the 
upper as you can see there's a backing there to give a better durability and lockdown support especially on the lateral part when you're doing lateral moves while on the medial side it's a lot softer compared to the lateral part of the midfoot going to the heel part of the sneaker i would say they pretty much have the same cut like the version 10 so it's a low cut sneaker what they did is they made the spoiler go in a bit more minimal design in my opinion so i'd like this one a little bit better because i'm not too scared that this would hang on something on an opponent foot so this i like better because it made the sneaker look more sleek compared to the tents also i like the color of this one because it's iridescent so this is actually the sunrise colorway it changes color depending on the angle of the light that it hits inside of the heel killis pillows are nice it's thicker compared to the 10 when i'm holding it right now there's a lot more heel cushion or killis pillows here in terms of lockdown heel support heel containment very good lockdown here on the ac11 no heel slippage of course there's internal heel counter inside which is up to here until this uh, synthetic leather part this is where the heel counter is and it gives you a very nice heel lockdown so you feel very stable on the ac11 as for the insole of the ac11 this is usually the standard that comes in all the ac from the ac10 it's all very similar terms of look and design it's this gray insoles which adds comfort to the step in comfort of the ac11 and speaking of comfort let's talk about the cushion of the ac11 which features a full length boom cushion and of course boom cushion is my favorite cushion from the way of weight and leaning it's full length and what's nice about the ac11 i'm not too sure about the AC 10s, if it has the same pro bar setup compared to the AC 11, but the AC 11 has one pro bar on top of the boom and one at the bottom. As you can see in this outsole, this black part here is also a shank plate here at the bottom and on top. When you remove the insole of the AC 11, you can also see there. You can see that. So the lock, the stability around the midfoot of the AC11 is really nice. It gives a very nice spring back and of course stability and torsion support on the AC11. In terms of the boom cushion, it's a little bit lower to the ground but for a low to the ground setup and a very nice impact protection on the heel. Comparing to the AC10, it feels like it's a little bit thicker by just a bit on the heel of the ac11 which i like because because i like impact protection around the heel because it will really help out my knees especially if i play every day so cushion setup low to the ground very very responsive cushion on the ac11 which i think is an upgrade from the ac10 because the ac10 although it has a bounce in the forefoot I feel like there's a different kind of density on the boom cushion on the 11s because it feels a little bit more bouncier compared to the 10s. Another thing that I like about the 11s is the carrier rubber like I was mentioning earlier. This carrier rubber is the same rubber that they use on the WOW 10 so it's soft so it lets the boom cushion so lets the boom cushion expand but still giving the stability on the boom cushion doesn't over compress and you won't lose your balance and stability especially around the heel part when it's too soft and you don't have any caging on the heel it will be very wobbly around the heel i experienced that in another sneaker that has which has an exposed cushion and it felt really mushy when i really had a hard heel step my ankle almost sprained because it wasn't that stable around the heel when I did that heel step. So this cage really helps out at least giving stability around the heel at the same time letting the boom cushion expand a bit more. Which on the 
intense it didn't have that caging so that's why i think that like i said i feel like the boom cushion on the 11 is a little bit different compared to the 10s i feel like the density of this one is a lot springier a lot foamy that's why they really need to cage it a bit more support and stability to the 11s moving on to the traction of the ac11 it has hair bone pattern but with this one it has some circle designs from the forefoot looks like drops of liquid from the forefoot to the heel which is completely different to the tents which has the cross like design on the traction of the tents and based on the traction traction was really really good i was playing this a couple of times on a very dusty floor and like I've said, I always observe my opponent and my teammates traction when I'm playing and seeing if their traction is gripping on the floor and mine was gripping on the dusty floor while theirs was they were really kind of conservative in their movements because, because their sneakers were attracting a lot of dust and they were kind of sliding a bit more compared to me. So traction on a dusty floor was really good and on the clean court no problem at all it squeaks a lot on a clean court and i would say the rubber compound is pretty hard so that I think you can use this for outdoor too and this herringbone patterns has a very nice spacing so that's why dust pickup is not a problem at all for the ac11 for my sizing on the AC11, I went half a size down. This is a 10 and a half. I'm a regular footer. So wide footers, I would suggest go true to size. For the weight of the AC11s, it's 430 grams. While comparing it to the 10s, which is also a 10 and a half, it's 430 grams. So same weight. I believe that even though this one, the 11s has a lighter upper, but it has extra caging on the heel cushion of the AC11s compared to the uncaged cushion of the tents. That's why they have the similar weight. And still, 430 is more on the light side of things. The price of the AC11 is 8,400 pesos here in the Philippines. So that's around 140 US dollars. So pretty good deal for a very filled tech basketball sneaker it's a very nice boom cushion pro bar lock on the midfoot top and bottom very nice traction and a very good looking sneaker in my opinion very nice material too in the upper so that's it on my performance review of the ac11 from way of weight let me know what you think about this sneaker would you buy them and if you have tried them let me know what you think in the comments down below so this has been Marches once again. Thank you for dropping by this channel. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.